All right, here we go. Question number 14 from our 1316 homework number three in my lab math. And they want us to find the exact value of the expression. So where we're going to start is right here in the brackets. Remember that an inverse trig function produces an angle. So we know that this angle theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 5 over 8, <clears throat> and then if I bring the inverse tangent to the other side, it'll turn it back into regular tangent. So far, so good? So if you think about what we're really trying to find here, what we really want to find is the secant of theta, okay? And that's all going to depend on this expression over here. So if you will recall, the inverse tangent is restricted to values from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So we're restricted to either the first or the fourth quadrant, and we know that tangent is y over x. So when we divide the coordinates of the ordered pair, we need a positive 5 eighths. And so that means that the fourth quadrant is not possible. Because in the fourth quadrant, tangent is negative. And so now that says that our angle has to be in the first quadrant. So here's our theta, okay? Remember that tangent theta is y over x. So the y value is five, that's the up and down side. And the x value is eight. And I can see that this is not a unit circle because if I do the Pythagorean theorem, I'm not gonna get a value of one. So we are gonna need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the radius of this particular problem. <clears throat> and then we can come over here and find the secant. Remember, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So if cosine is x over r, then secant would be r over x. Okay, do you see that we actually need the radius and we can find that with Pythagorean theorem. Here we go. We're going to have 5 squared plus 8 squared equals r squared. That's going to be 25 plus 64 equals r squared. And that's going to be 89. Taking the square root of both sides, I don't believe that the square root of 89 is going to simplify. So I believe this is simplest radical form, and that means that I now have my answer. Remember, we're looking for secant theta, originally secant, r, which is square root of 89 over x, which is 8. And then if we plug that in to our calculator, <clears throat> We can check and see if that's right, okay? But I don't have a secant button. Oh, I know. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So I should be able to do 1 over cosine of the inverse tangent of 5 over 8. Mm, and that's not giving me the radical answer I wanted. Is there a way to check and see if that's right? Okay, hang on a second. So what I want to know is, I want to know, is this answer that I've got over here, the square root of 89 over 8, is that the same as 1.18 approximately? So let's see if that's correct. Square root of 89 over 8 is approximately... 
Look at that, the same thing, okay? So even though the calculator did not give me the radical answer, I can still use the calculator to verify my handwritten work. It is possible. So we're looking for the square root of 89 over 8. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.